Engineering Update. I'm Casey Panetta, Managing Editor of ECN. In this week's episode, the world's fastest civilian aircraft, a pod system for public transportation, and a football helmet that senses concussions. The Cessna Citation X was recently confirmed by the FAA as the fastest civilian aircraft in the world, blowing past the current record holder, the Gulfstream G650, at a speed of Mach 0.935 to the Gulfstream's unimpressive Mach 0.925. Though Cessna has designed and built over 200,000 airplanes since 1927, the Citation X might be its new pride and joy. The plane currently has 1,300 flying hours as part of its testing program in preparation for certification in early 2014. The nine-seater features two FADEC-controlled Rolls-Royce turbofan engines and a Garmin G5000 avionics package. The maximum altitude for the plane is 51,000 feet, but we hope you're not planning on going too far. The Cessna maxes out at about 3,242 nautical miles to the Gulfstream 7,000. I feel the need, the need for speed. Ow! On the other side of the speed scale, the town of Milton Keynes in England is replacing its public buses with a pod system that will rocket passengers around the city at a whiplash-inducing 12 miles per hour. The ultrapods, which can carry up to two people plus their baggage, are being deployed to hopefully alleviate some of the traffic and pollution. Similar to a monorail, the battery-powered pods have been used on a closed track at Heathrow Airport in London for two years, though the town pods will operate on wheels on a special road instead of on a track. The pods will cost two pounds per trip and can be called via smartphones. The plan for the future is to eventually allow the pods to operate on regular roads as a public transportation version of self-driving vehicles. But for now, they'll be guided by curbs as they carry passengers between downtown, the business district, and the train station. The town is hoping to have the system up and running in 2015, with a full rollout scheduled for 2017. This is not a good idea. Sorry, Goose, but it's time to buzz the tower. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, there are over 1.6 million sports-related concussions every year. Football players are particularly susceptible with over 75% chance of concussion, and it's estimated a professional football player will receive an estimated 500 to 1,500 blows to the head during a single season. There have been different attempts to record how much damage is actually being done during head-on collisions on the field, including a product out of Brigham Young University where Jake Merrill, a student at the school, has designed a prototype that could make it easier to recognize when a player has been hit too hard. Morell has designed a type of smart foam called Exo Nano Foam using nanotechnology and silicon foam. When compressed, the foam generates an electrical signal that can be transmitted to a tablet or computer. The idea would be that the coaches and trainers would track the electrical signals being transmitted wirelessly and pull players off the field if they take a hit that surpasses a certain marker. This is particularly useful when you consider that 47% of athletes report no symptoms after receiving a concussive blow. This award-winning prototype could represent a new world of smart helmets. That wraps up this week's episode. Be sure to join in the conversation on Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn. I'm Casey Panetta, and this has been your Engineering Updates.